Hello and welcome back to Game Domain. Today we're going to be discussing a topic that revolves around speculation for the next main series Pokemon title. Releasing presumably sometime next fall, like we see most all the recent main series Pokemon titles released. We've done our fair share of speculation videos on Generation 4 remakes, as we have released two videos surrounding possible Diamond and Pearl remakes coming sometime next year in 2021. Just another reason to hope for 2020 to end quicker. Speculation about Generation 4 remakes have been spewing around the Pokemon community really since back in 2014, right after we got the Generation 3 remakes Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire as part of the Generation 6 era of Pokemon on the 3DS. This was just four years after we got the North American release of the Generation 2 remake titles Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, commonly beloved as the greatest games in the franchise, were released just six years after the original Pokemon remakes Fire Red and Leaf Green. Now, this has presented a specific type of cycle when it comes to the release of Pokemon Generational Remake titles, which has changed as time has gone on. We received the first two waves of Pokemon Remakes in back-to-back -back generations, each of which were the two longest generation periods in Pokemon history. Generation 3 lasted for about four to five years, with discrepancies presented depending on whether you count the Japanese or North American releases as the start of the generation. Generation 4 also lasted about four to five years, and each of these generation of Pokemon had three sets of titles that were released as part of that generation. Generation 3 had the original Hoenn titles released in 2002 in Japan, and 2003 in North America, Ruby and Sapphire. The next titles in the Generation 3 were just a year later in the forms of Fire Red and Leaf Green, followed a year later with the third Hoenn title in the form of Pokemon Emerald. Generation 4 kicked off with Diamond and Pearl, followed by Platinum a few years later, and then Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Due to the length of these two generations over time, we got a remake in each of these generations. Generation 5, however, which launched in 2011 with Pokemon Black and White on the DS, presented us with just two short years and only two sets of title releases. Black and White were followed up a year later with direct sequels in the form of Black 2 and White 2, the first of their kind in the series. Generation 6 was started just one year after Black 2 and White 2, and highlighted the new power that the Nintendo 3DS could exhibit, being the first generation built for the fairly new 3DS. After the debut Gen 6 titles X and Y, fans got the long-awaited remakes of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, and they didn't really need to wait that long, all things considered. ORAS was released only four years after HGSS, and here we are approaching seven years waiting in limbo for Generation 4 remakes. In the social media and internet hype age, it's easy for us to over-exaggerate the seemingly long time we are waiting to finally take that upgraded trip back to Sinnoh. Here we are 14 years after the games debuted in Japan, 6 full years after the last remake titles were released, and we still have zero real word or confirmation from Game Freak and the Pokemon Company as to when these titles will come out. Now, it seems like we've been waiting for so long, but we really haven't in the grand scheme of things. ORAS was released in a relatively quick time frame after HDSS, especially compared to six long years in between Fire Red and Leaf Green, and HDSS, as well as the approaching seven years we are waiting between ORAS and Diamond and Pearl remakes. So ORAS is clearly the exception here when it comes to the cycle, and we should have expected to wait this long. With all the gaming news and content at the ready for us whenever we want it due to social media, YouTube, and just the internet in general, Every single small rumor or report is blown out of proportion and taken literally to mean that we should be expecting an announcement or something important sometime soon. Back when the HGSS hype train was around, the internet was nowhere near as popular and full of information as it is today. Back then, there were still a relatively small group of people who were constantly relying on the internet to get most of their news and information. Fans would just have to wait around for Nintendo to make an announcement online, on their website, or put out a commercial hyping up the release of their next main series game, so fans just enjoyed the current games they were playing and were surprised when a new title was announced. Now we are constantly speculating and engrossing in all of this speculation about every little detail regarding the Pokemon franchise that every waking moment seems so much longer than when we rarely got new information or speculation or credible rumors about a new game or new Pokemon or whatever it may be. So the internet age has brought some great things in the world of Pokemon, but also provides us with a bit too much information sometimes, with us having every ounce of rumors and speculation at the ready whenever it comes out. But one thing is for certain, whenever we actually get Diamond and Pearl remakes, we will all be lining up and ready to pick them up the instant they release. Thank you for watching today's video. Tell us what you thought of today's video down in the comments section below. Don't forget to click subscribe and leave a like on today's video, as well as check out some of our other recent uploads.
Make sure you also check out the links in the description, as there you'll find the link to our Patreon and to join our Discord. Join our Discord to connect with our staff here at the channel, as well as participate in the great Domain Legion content we have going on there. Our Discord is open to all gaming fans, as we now have over 650 fans of the channel and gamers talking about what we love to do every single day. So come on and join to participate in this great community. We would once again like to thank you guys for all of your incredible support, and thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you next time.